Watford hosted Durham at Berkhamsted. This was sixth versus eighth in WSL2. Watford's month of August began with a pair of fine away wins, but they were followed by back-to-back -back defeats. After a quiet opening here, they found themselves behind when a neat and tidy Durham move ended at the feet of Beth Heppel. No power required when it's right in the corner like that. 1-0 to the guests. Watford's last home game here had ended in a fairly miserable 4-0 defeat to Reading, and they took a fair while to threaten. Great ball over the top from Joe Wilson. Megan Wynn perhaps put off by the on-rushing Danielle Hill. Having previously not won in more than a month, Durham took all three points away to Millwall last week to give them something to build on here, and build on it they did. Although, first of all, they needed some brilliance from their keeper to preserve the lead. Great effort from Chloe Gunn, even greater save from Danielle Hill. And what an important save it was too, because after the restart, Durham doubled their advantage, and in some style too. It was the sort of half volley you hope will come your way, and this one came the way of Jordan Atkinson. 2-0, and well worth the mobbing she rightfully received. So, Durham well on their way to back-to-back -back victories on the road, and with Watford now in trouble, gaps began to appear at the back. Emily Scott with a decent strike that was on target there. Lauren Davy did well to palm it over. In added time, Durham did grab a third. It wasn't pretty, though. Holly Ride heading back to a keeper who'd gone walkabout. One to forget for Lauren Davy, and a tap-in for substitute Gemma Purfield. 3-0 was how it finished. An impressive away win that takes Durham up a place to seventh. Watford stay sixth.